welcome to Mr. Otter Studio. Today we are going to be painting a tulip using acrylic paint. Here are the supplies that you'll need. You'll need something to paint on. So I'm just using a masonite board that I painted white with acrylic paint. Click on this link if you have any other questions about what you can use to paint on. You will need acrylic paint. The colors that you need are permanent red, ultramarine blue, and yellow medium. Titanium white, permanent black. Now you need something to put your paints on. You could use a paper plate, a glass plate. I'm just using this palette, but you can also just use a piece of paper. You need a brush. I'm using this medium bright brush. And you need some water. And you need a paper towel or a rag. Here is a link to the picture that I'm using that I took. We're going to be sketching our tulip using paint. So I'm just going to sketch it using my red. So there's my red right there and I'm going to be using plenty of water I don't want my sketch to be really thick with paint because I'm painting over it Get your paintbrush get some water on it make a little puddle next to your acrylic paint so it's thin and Let's go ahead and sketch our tulip. So a tulip is a really simple shape. It's almost like an upside-down cup I'm just going to mark where the bottom of my tulip is about here One of my sides come here and the other sides here and the top of it is about right there I'm just making some lines of where it fits in here. Now let's go ahead and just do our upside down cup. And then I'm just going to put the top like this. So we have like a nice upside down gumdrop. And we have this nice sturdy stem that comes out of the bottom of it. It's just bending slightly. Let's say you're sketching it and you make a mistake. You can just dip your rag in some water and I'm just going to erase that line. Now let's paint in the petals. There's only five petals we're going to be painting. What we're gonna do first is start at the bottom. So you're gonna make a nice little curve out, bring it over almost like a backwards C, and then bring this petal in a little bit, out, and then at the top, we just come in and over. And then on this petal, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna make a little bend, come in, make some nice little bumps, and this one's gonna come a little bit lower than this one, but it comes back and then it curves around like that. That's kind of tricky. Just curve it back in. This flower actually kind of bends out there a little bit like that. And then this middle big petal has three big bumps. Let's start right here, hook it to this one. One, two, three. Now let's do the ones up here. These ones are a little bit tricky. This top one right here starts down on this petal, almost underneath this little C that we've made right here, and it pops up. It dips down and then it's going to just slide down into this petal. It's also coming around here, comes up, down at an angle, and then right into the middle of this one. So this is one petal, it's just bent. And then this back petal, we'll just do the outside shape of it, comes up from this one, over, and then down into the middle of this one. So this we will just paint over. And then it kind of has a wing that comes out here, so just make a little dip. And then a little curve right here. Okay, now let's put some paint on our palette. You always wanna start out with less paint. I mean, really, just a tiny little bit. It goes a long way. So we got blue. I'm just gonna put a little bit more red in this pile. And here's my yellow, my white. Uh, I don't know if you can see the colors that I added, but red, yellow, and blue, and white and black. Oh, I'm gonna add black very last because I'm painting my background with it. Clean your brush off, dip it in your water. It's a really good thing to have a rag to get some of that water off of it. And what we're gonna do is we're going to be painting the medium colors first. So if you look at the picture of the flower, we have these nice light yellows across the top and over here, medium yellows here and here and in here, and then these nice oranges. And there's actually some kind of, a little bit of green mixed in at the bottom, and then we'll paint our stem. So let's start with the light yellow, and I'm mixing plenty of white in with it. And then let's just go ahead and put our light yellow in up here. Don't worry if you paint over your red, even if it smears, it's gonna be fine. If it starts to get sticky, just add a little bit more paint or water, but you don't wanna saturate your brush or else water's gonna start running off of your brush down onto your painting. I'm just painting right over my red lines. So I'm just using yellow with a little white right now. So what I'm gonna do really quick, at the bottom there's a, a little green in there, so I'm just going to grab a tiny bit of my blue that I put clear over there, and I'm just going to put a little bit of green down here. And now what we're gonna do is just add some orange in the middle here, up towards the top and definitely down towards the bottom on this one. So grab your yellow, 
Mix a little bit of your red with it. And let's just start down here since this definitely needs to be darker anyway. And if it starts just pulling the color underneath it off, you can um, just let it dry a little bit. Also, adding that darker area here is gonna separate it from the front of the petal. If you wanna make this more smoother in here, you can go ahead and start, add some yellow to smooth it out a little bit more. But we're going to be adding some oranges and reds in here, so I wouldn't worry too much about it. If you have areas that are rubbing away your background, you may need to wait for it to dry a little bit. So let's go ahead and get our brighter orangey yellow and let's go ahead and put some of it in here so I'm just going to be marking where we're going to have these areas these nice feathered areas and to get that point this brush is nice because it has a nice flat area and then I can get it to go to a really nice point so I'm just making sure I'm coming at an angle if it's really scratchy then you may need to add more paint don't just add a ton of water or you're going to get drips coming down your canvas on the edge of these leaf petals, they're going to be going in a different direction. Okay, and then I'm going to do the same thing over here. And then there's a little bit in here. And then a tiny bit here. I'm going to put this orange color down in here and a little bit along the bottom here. Let me actually just put a little bit more orange in here instead of the color that I have. Okay, so now what we're going to do is grab our yellow and our white. And we're going to come in some of these areas where I kind of overpainted it and got a little too much is going on in there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add the highlights. So anywhere we can see some really light, light yellows, we're going to put them on here. So I'm just grabbing my white and mixing it with a little bit of my yellow. And there are some of these really light highlights up here along this petal. And there's a little bit here. And a little bit comes along the top of this petal, down on this one, and on the edge of this. Petal. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get a little bit of a lighter orange. I'm just going to mix that with some of the orange I already made right here. And I want to bring some of these areas in the bottom because this just, you can't see any of the definition. So I'm just putting it on the sides because we need to be able to see this red that's coming up in front of it. I'm going to add some over here, add a little bit over here coming up. So now we've got some of those highlights on there, but let's grab our yellow with a little bit of white. A little bit of white. We don't want it to look like our highlights. And then let's go al along the edge of some of these petals because I don't like that really thick line I made with my red paint. Okay. And I might need a little bit of some yellow back in there. All right, now this is the fun part. So grab your red and I'm still gonna mix it with a little bit of my yellow. We're going to create these um, veins again or th this pattern that we have on these petals. So first we're gonna start in the middle here. And just start to feather it out and then we're gonna do the same thing over here on the petals. We need a, a little bit of a darker um, yellow coming up in here. So I'm just gonna grab some of my red, mix it over here into my yellow. And I've got this a little bit of a darker color and I'm just gonna come in around the edge. And I'm also just redefining the edge of that petal by doing this. And then I wanna add a little bit of a shadow coming up into here. And then I want the same color, this kind of red, yellow, and add it a little bit in here. So I'm going to grab my yellow, orange, and add it a little bit in here. I'm going to put a nice little, my yellow, orange, I'm going to put it in this little um, area right there. 
I may end up just painting the background over that though. And I'm gonna put it in here a little bit too. It's the nice, that's why I love acrylics. You can just keep adding layers. So you're just, and then I want to bring a tiny bit of my green back in the bottom, I think, down in here. First I'm gonna get my red and mix it in with my yellow, get a little bit more of this color down in here. And then we're going to get some blue. Just a little bit. A little bit of blue goes a long ways. Add it to it and then I'm just gonna put it in a little bit down in the bottom. Just a little bit of that green. To make uh, the, the stem, we're just gonna make a simple green by using red and yellow. Really easy, we're just gonna paint right up till we hit that flower. And so what I'm gonna do is just, you can either add yellow, I'm just gonna add a little white to it and just put a little highlight on this side. Okay, so it's kind of pulling off my paint right here, so I'm just gonna paint a little bit lighter. There we go. So now we need to just define some of the edges, and I like the look of outline sometimes, and since this is a beginning tutorial, we're, we're not gonna to go too much into edges. So we're gonna grab our red again that we started with, get it really, really thin, because we don't want to have big, thick lines. And what you wanna do is just lightly, lightly go around your edges of your petals. So. Clean off your brush, dip it in your black paint, and I would start around your flower first and then fill in the outside area. You can redefine some edges like these. <gasps> now make sure you don't have too much water on there, dip in your black and go ahead and start outlining your flower. Oh, I just wanted to get into this area right here more of that. And then um, I might just add a few of these lines back in here. So really quickly, we can add a few more shadows and highlights. So now that we painted the black background in, I can see that I need, I need a few more shadows and highlights on this flower. So I'm gonna make a little bit of a deeper orange and paint into the bottom here. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of blue to it. Especially under here, we need those darks. So again, I just mixed a little bit of blue, so it's making it just a little bit green. So I'm just using my yellow, my red. Okay, and now what I wanna do, since I have some shadows there, I'm gonna add just a tiny bit more with my green. These are gonna be the darkest shadows on here. Then I'm going to grab my yellow with a tiny bit of red in it and add a little bit more shading on this petal right here. And I'm gonna get a little bit of a darker orange and come in here and add. And I'm gonna take that same just solid, saturated, bright red and I'm gonna put some right in the middle. The very last thing I'm gonna do is get my yellow. Mix it with some white, hopefully I have some. And I need to come down in here a little bit. The very last thing is to take your black, your background color, and just go over some of your edges that may have. I got a little bit careless here. After you finish the black, go ahead and wash your paints off. You can sign it with your name and date. So I hope this was helpful for you if you're learning how to paint in acrylics. We will see you around on YouTube. Have a great day.